weapons received careful and thorough study by army experts. The Japanese small arms shown in this picture are widely used by the enemy. Generally speaking, while their weapons are extremely serviceable and well made, they lag far behind our own in design, durability, and effectiveness. Here are two captured Japanese rifles. The longer top one is the Arasaka Model 38, a 25 caliber weapon. Below it is the new Model 99, 303 caliber, which is rapidly replacing the M38 in most theaters. The M38 employs the standard bayonet Model 195, which is easily removed by simply sliding forward. Press in on the cleaning rod release catch to free the full length cleaning rod from the stock. The sights are an ordinary front sight and a knockdown leaf type rear sight, graduated from 440 to 2,640 yards. There is no allowance for drift or windage on these sights. The M38 is a five shot bolt action weapon, very similar in operation to our own Springfield. The magazine floor plate may be removed by pressing on a release button located inside on the forward portion of the trigger guard. To disassemble the bolt, draw it fully to the rear and pull out on the bolt stop on the left side of the receiver. Take off the dust cover. Turn the safety one half turn to the right and remove. Next, pull out the firing pin. And then it's spring. They go back together in the reverse order. The dust cover on the bolt mechanism is removed by the Japs in combat to ensure silent operation of the bolt. Here is the latest Jap rifle, Model 99. The sling is generally a rubberized canvas and serves no other purpose except to carry the rifle. The monopod, hinged to the lower band or sling swivel, acts as a rest for the weapon when it's fired from a foxhole. The bayonet is similar to the one on the M38 and comes off in the same way. Like the M38 II, the cleaning rod slides free when you press the release catch. The leaf type rear sight on this gun is equipped with projecting arms which are intended for use in tracking aerial or moving ground targets. The magazine follower must be depressed before the bolt can be closed. The trigger guard on this weapon is larger to permit firing with a gloved finger. The magazine floor plate is hinged to prevent its loss and also to permit rapid unloading when necessary. The bolt mechanism, modified for firing the larger caliber ammunition, is the same as that of the M38 and is disassembled in the same way. First, the dust cover, then the safety, firing pin and the spring. Here are the M38 and the M99. Notice that the stock of the M99, the bottom one, has been shortened to fit the physique of the Japanese soldier. Both guns fire ammunition in five round clips. The longer projectile on the right is used in the M38. The short bullet is fired by the M99. The guns are loaded and fired like our own Springfield. The 99 has a recoil very much like the Springfield too. The M38 has very little recoil and no muzzle flash. The Japs find it very useful as a sniper's weapon. This 
This is the Jap Solothurn submachine gun, caliber 9mm. It's blowback operated, air cooled, and is fed by a 30 round box type magazine. For single shot fire, push the change lever to the rear. To cock the weapon, pull the cocking handle to the rear as far as it'll go. A safety catch is provided on top of the receiver, in front of the rear sight. The bolt can be locked in either the forward or the rear position. To open the cover, press in on the cover lock latch. Then remove the bolt group by pulling to the rear. Lift out the front of the bolt first. Remove the firing pin housing back plate by turning a quarter turn to the right. Pull out the cocking handle. The firing pin will then slide out of its housing. The point of the firing pin inserted in this hole will unlock the extractor, which can then be easily removed. This is the bolt group disassembled. The barrel is detached by unscrewing the barrel locking nut. The driving spring, which is accessible through the butt of the stock, is removed by pressing inward and turning right or left a half turn. This is the Solothurn submachine gun in a field strip disassembly. The grenade discharger Type 89 is widely issued in the Japanese army. The enemy has developed a variety of uses for this weapon. This is the Type 89 shell. It's inserted into the muzzle end of the barrel, fuse end up. To decrease the range, the range control head is turned clockwise. To increase, turn counterclockwise. The discharger is fired by holding the weapon in the left hand and pulling downward on the trigger with the right. The same method of loading the piece is used in firing the 97 HE hand grenade. The same procedure for increasing or decreasing the range is followed, and the weapon is fired in the same manner. This is the Japanese Nambu light machine gun, caliber 6.5 millimeter, model 1922. It's gas operated, air cooled, and is fed from a 30 round box type hopper. After filling the hopper, the follower is lowered, and the gas regulator is adjusted for smooth operation. Preparatory to firing, the rear sight, which is of the sliding ramp type, is adjusted. There is no provision for windage made on this sight adjustment. To steady the gun for firing, notice that the stock is grasped firmly in the left hand. This gun is equipped with a safety. Safe is in the forward position, fire in the rear. The weapon is cocked by pulling back on the cocking handle as far as it'll go. To field strip, the hopper may be removed by exerting a backward pressure on the feed housing lock with the thumb of the right hand. To remove the back plate, turn the lock pin a quarter turn to the left and drift out left to right. Then the back plate and the driving spring can be removed from the receiver. The driving spring and rod are separated. The entire operating mechanism comprising the piston, piston rod, piston rod extension and the bolt are removed from the receiver. The bolt is detached from the piston rod extension. Move the cocking handle to the rear position. To separate the trigger group from the receiver, the retaining pin must be drifted out from right to left. The trigger group will then slide off to the rear of the receiver. 
The barrel jacket is locked to the receiver by a lock pin. After it's removed, unscrew the receiver. The barrel slides easily out of the barrel jacket. The gas regulator is unscrewed by turning counterclockwise. The gas piston tube is removed from the barrel jacket by pressure rearward on the tube. The functioning and disassembly of the Nambu light machine gun is very similar to that of the heavy machine gun which follows. This is the Japanese heavy ground machine gun, model 92. The caliber is 7.7 millimeter. It is gas operated, air cooled, and is fed by 30 round plate chargers. To get it into action, remove the tripod carrying arms. Then insert the 30 round plate charger into the feedway. The cradle elevating mechanism is unlocked by turning the lock handle one quarter turn. This frees the wheel which lowers or raises the cradle. To traverse the gun, squeeze tightly on the traversing lock handle, then turn it counterclockwise a half turn. To lock the traversing mechanism, reverse the procedure. There are two ways to elevate and depress this weapon. It can be done manually by unlocking the elevating hand wheel and turning the lock handle a half turn counterclockwise. or mechanically by locking the mechanism and turning the elevating hand wheel. On this gun, the trigger acts as the safety. To place the gun in the safe position, turn the trigger a quarter turn counterclockwise. Adjust the gas regulator for smooth firing. To field strip the weapon, release the plate charger by pulling outward on the holding pole. Then pull back on the cocking handle as far as it'll go. In freeing the bolt, pull outward on the holding pole to release it from the operating slide. By pressing on the trigger with both thumbs, the bolt is released. To elevate the grips, press in on the grip locks on either side. Then remove the gun from its mount by pulling out on the elevating arm lock pin and releasing the locking catches from the gun cradle lugs. The telescopic sight may be removed by turning the lock screw counterclockwise a half turn. The lock pin has been removed and the back plate can now be separated from the receiver. Next the driving spring comes out and the buffer is lifted off the driving spring rod. The operating mechanism consisting of the piston, piston rod extension and bolt comes out of the receiver as a unit. Separate the bolt from the piston rod extension. Then remove the firing pin. Now the bolt lock can be separated from the bolt. Before the cocking handle can be removed from the receiver, it must be in the rear position. The gas regulator is unscrewed from the gas piston tube. And finally, remove the oil reservoir, which is held in place by a retaining screw. This reservoir is used to oil the cartridges before they're fired, as this gun does not have an initial slow extraction. The Japs use this weapon in several different ways, as a light anti-aircraft gun, and even mounted on some of their tanks. Here they are again, Japanese army weapons. Rifles, the Model 38, and the newer Model 99. The Solothurn submachine gun. Type 89 grenade discharger. 
the Nambu light machine gun, model 1922, and the heavy ground machine gun, model 92. Knowing something about these weapons may prove mighty useful someday. <laughs>